Welcome to excelblogger.com. I will show you how to embed a YouTube video into a spreadsheet in Excel. It's a really cool thing to do in a spreadsheet. For instance, if you want to add live instructions to users of your spreadsheet. Uh, I do it a lot with my own Excel tutorials, for instance. In this case, I have embedded a video on how to create pivot tables in Excel 2013. Welcome to excelblogger.com. In this, sir, anywhere in the in uh, the worksheet and um, in the dialogue in, in a new worksheet or in an existing existing worksheet. Okay, I'll stop there. Yeah, it's quite cool, I think, at least. Uh, I've, I also find this very helpful in spreadsheet with, for instance, solutions to exercises that I give to my students. Okay, I will show you this in Excel 2013, but it's exactly the same in all the versions, so it doesn't matter. At least Excel 2007 and 2010 but I use Excel 2013 with a slight hope that this video will stay fresh longer. Okay, how do you do it? Well, first we have to select a video, so let's go to YouTube. Okay, I choose this video on how to create pivot tables in Excel 2013. The first thing I do is I, I, I copy the, the URL address uh, from the address bar, so I just go up here and right click and copy. Uh, then I have to change the address slightly, and this is actually the tricky part when doing that. And I find it easiest to do this into a notepad. So what I do is that I uh, paste the address into a notepad like this, and then I do some small changes. I I delete, the first thing I do is that I delete the, the watch and question mark like this. And then I replace the equal sign with a slash like that and add a slash like that. So, okay, now I have the address I would like to have. So I copy it, right click and copy. And what you can, you can check that it works if you paste it into the address bar again in your uh, spreadsheet. And then you run it and you will see something like that you will have a full screen size uh, of your your video anyway you have copied this spreadsheet okay let's go back to an empty spreadsheet in excel um, i go to the developers tab and if you don't have the developers tab uh, you have to go to the files and options and in the customize ribbon you have to select developers tab. So if you don't have a developers tab, you have you select it there. Okay, in the developers tab, I go to the control group and then I click on insert and I choose uh, the more controls in the bottom right corner and click OK on that. Uh, in the more control list, I've scroll down and try to shoot, uh, find shockwave flash object. Okay, there I find the shockwave fl flash object. Uh, I just click OK. Now I can draw the size of the video uh, that I would like to have. I draw the, the side size of my embedded video like this. Yeah, looks good. Uh, and then I right click in this format control box and choose properties. So then you see the properties of the, this control here. And you have one of the properties are movies. You in, the in the box to the right of that property you paste uh, the YouTube address that you have copied already. And then I close the properties box like that. And after that, I close the design mode. Right. So now I, you have, I have an embedded YouTube video in my Excel spreadsheet. And of course, you need to have a live internet connection for this to work. work. Let, yeah, it works. Okay, uh, if you like to delete an uh, uh, embedded movie like this, you have to click on the design mode button again and then select the movie and delete it, like that, so. 
Okay, that's how you embed a YouTube movie in Excel 2013, 10 or 7 or whatever version you have. Thank you for watching.